Welcome to Get Ready With Me in Valentine's Day edition. This is look number four. How do you guys like it? She's pretty, she's classy, she's waiting to get picked up to go to dinner. That's what this one is. She's very much so, let's go out. It's, it's time for us to go out, babe. Like, babe. It's time for us to go out. <laughs> but if you guys want to see how I got this really pretty soft clam type of a look, keep on watching. Hey, you guys. Okay, so huh, I really don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I know it's going to intake a lot of makeup. What is that? Is that glitter? It might be glitter. Okay, anyway, um, let's let's just start on the face. Okay, so going in with my mascara, just, you know, to get my lashes going. My lashes are very, very straight, and I don't always like to curl them, so this helps out a little bit. Using my Pore Fashionable Primer, I'm going to use a, quite a bit of it today. Um, you guys know I'm really enjoying this. I like the blurring effect. But I also like when I put on a primer, it helps me get off my makeup. And again, I'm about to like, cake face myself, so I have to swim in this stuff. Okay, this is my Juvie's Place foundation in the color Gabon. I think it's like right at 300. It's my color, but it's not my color. Like as you guys can see, it's it melts in with my skin. However, once it oxidizes, it actually gets really dark on me. It's perfect for the summer, but I need to go a shade up. Um, well, not a shade up, a shade down in Juvia's place. So when it oxidizes, I won't be looking so crazy. But yeah, I'm just gonna use my brush, blend it in. Look at the blend, like I love this stuff. When you really want like a full face of makeup, you use this stuff. Um, cause, cause look, like look. Actually, this is my second layer um, because I'm really trying to get that blurred out, mattified effect. As you guys can see, it's looking really good. Like, I love the way it blends out, the way the color matches, the way the undertones are. But, baby, the transfer. Okay, and here we have my um what is this concealer <laughs> and i'm just concealing in all the normal spots you guys know how it is you know the vibes um honestly i would have stopped here but um we're going for that youtube-ish soft glam-ish date night i want this to stay night thing so yeah and then i'm using my bright fix by fenty just to add an extra layer um, I realized that it wasn't looking as bright under the eyes as the normal soft glam look would look. So, you know, we're going to use that. I love using the Bright Fix not on my actual skin because it kind of burns a little bit on me. But on makeup, it's absolutely perfect. And it blends so nicely. It's a bit watery, but it works. Yep, I'm getting as close as I can. Alright, y'all seeing it? You guys seeing it? Don't worry, she gets blended some more. <laughs> See? I, I saw it. I saw it. I got y'all. Okay. So I was going in to set that. I love using my Fenty Pro Filter Powder to just set my under eyes, the rest of my face too, but, and actually I think I made a mistake because it doesn't look bright, bright, like, yeah, made a mistake, hold on, okay, yes, 
I put on my CoverGirl concealer and it's real, real, real bright. But you know, it was gonna give me the effect that I was looking for. Like, do you guys see it? Ah, boom. Like, yes, now I'm going in to set that. And it just really made a difference. Like, look at my face. Like, oh, look at her. Okay, and as usual, I'm going in with my bronzer, really setting the base, making everything look great. I also realized this time I did my base first and eyes last. Um, I don't really have a preference on it, but let me know what you think. Look at that. Base is done. And I don't have on a beauty filter or anything. Like This is my actual skin and the makeup that's on top of it. Setting it. Setting it. It's not even like a setter. This is just my toner water. Because it's kind of dry. And putting my sponge to anything that feels a little bit extra wet, I guess. Okay, so <laughs> BH Cosmetics. It's my Ray Ray palette. Y'all know the vibes. I'm going to use these two colors. Um, I don't really think I was going for a cut crease at this time. I just know that I wanted it to be a really pretty light to a really pretty red color and that's exactly what I was doing and yeah I'm just patting the lighter color on and it's just self-explanatory at this point Okay, and as I've been using pretty much this entire series, I am getting my cake face palette and just Yeah Do you guys see that like This blended out so pretty. I really do love that cake face palette If I have any two palettes that I'm just in love with and advertise for it's definitely the Anastasia Beverly Hills one with Jackie Ina and this cake face palette yep and I'm just increasing the pink and deepening that up I didn't really want to go like too heavy with this eye it's just very effortless Okay, now I'm going back into my BH palette, and I'm just going to use these two little highlight colors um, just to do like a little under the brow situation, and in my tear ducts, oh look, lashes, face, mm. now what to do for the lips, I was a little apprehensive about the lips, but you know what, we made it work, but let's get this hair together first. Y'all, this wig, <laughs> she is Ivana in the color DR Chocolate Cream from the Outright Perfect Hairline. Yeah, oh, baby. Okay, but she she was fitting though. She was fitting and hitting though. Like, I have worn her so much. I need to clean the lace. Like, legit need to clean the lace. But as you guys can see, she is perfect. Even when I put her on, even when she nappy, she still just bounces right into place. I love her. <laughs> okay, so I couldn't find my brown lip liner. So I'm just going to use my Fenty lipstick in the color PMS. It's this beautiful brownish, almost reddish color. Um, yeah we improvise over here we do what we gotta do over here and it blends really nicely and it's really really creamy so as you guys can see it's it's giving it's giving what it's supposed to
Okay, you guys, so I'm just gonna use my Mary Kay lipstick. Um, I forget what it's called, like it's super old, but it's definitely giving me um, NYX cookies and cream, like this with a brown lip liner, which they don't sell no more, but you know, uh, whatever. Look, it looks so good, like I love it. And I'm gonna top it with some NYX butter gloss, almost in the same shade. Um, I wish I remembered it. I think it was Angel Food Cake, I think. But yeah, it looks so pretty. And it just finishes and polishes off the look. So yeah. Gabes, and this is look number four. It's very, this is we can go to dinner. You feel me? This is me giving you guys soft glam I'm not really liking the lighting let me let's fix the lighting a little bit because this is what's giving this is very much I keep brushing this wig this wig, she oh this is my Ivana wig in the color I think DR chocolate cream I already have a video up on her from last year let's put on my red dress from Fashion Nova this is definitely a soft glam look she's definitely she's classy okay this this look right here is very much giving class she's not doing the most i put on lashes but just the tips just to really give that look here i am more up close to you guys this for me is a lot of makeup but but she comes through in the end like she she comes through in the end and with the little side bang the little swoosh whoosh can't tell me nothing i was thinking about doing like a bun but i was like why not show this wig really the hair makes it more the hair the lashes and the hair really are what make the whole look come together and i was like let's give side part let's be blonde let's like show a little bit for the girls yes super super pretty <laughs> but thank you guys so 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 much for watching and for continuing to watch you guys know i love y'all so 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 much i will see you guys in my next one for look number four love you guys bye